Hey, lovely people. Okay, welcome back to the lovely place. And no, we are not at the lovely place, but we are at a very special place, a place that I really like to come to. It's the salvage place. It's the iron and metal salvage junkyard, scrapyard, whatever you want to call it. But I have been in there and I found a couple very special things that I'm excited to show you. Let's go in together. A friend of mine told me about this place a couple years ago and I've been back and forth and I've bought a few things. They just loaded on my trailer something I specifically came down here for. So as you know, we've got a couple of wood stoves. We're going to be installing them in, or one of them, in the pole barn. Well, my wife came across, that would be Mrs. Lovely. She came across a uh, picture or two of a steel box that the, the wood stove can set on top of and you can store, you know, wood quartered wood in in that steel box and you just pull that wood out put it in your fire your wood burning stove well i said I, if i go over there to the scrapyard i'm sure i will find some kind of steel box and i'll show you what i found i found the perfect steel box it happens to be a 350 pound steel safe and we'll see if we'll be able to crack this safe and get into it they did give me a key and a combo so let's hope it works i tried it a couple times in the in the building there and i, I couldn't make it budge but uh i'll get it home we'll see what we can do with it there's the big safe look at this massive safe it's got a door and a lock hopefully we can get that door open use that combination code they gave me and the keys but yeah that that thing was heavy let's get this on back to the house i'll be going down to lovely place in a few days it's done nothing but rain here the last few days we've needed it but it's gonna be the next week so i'm gonna try to find a day that's kind of dry that i can get all this delivered down there After a couple of hours of sitting out here, doing everything I could think of to this combination, and then finally picking up a sledgehammer, and when it gets back to the point where the combination starts to stop after you put in the last number, just start beating on or tapping on every part of that door so that I can jolt that mechanism free and check out what has happened. I have it off. I didn't record all of that, but I've strapped things back down to take it back to the lovely place. But here's what she looks like on the inside. And yes, it was stuffed full of money boxes. So I had this money box, same as the cash box was on the inside. And this thinner one was in there as well with this little shelf. But uh, yeah, check out these cool hinges. Those are pretty. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll be sticking or stacking wood all in there. And this will all be painted black. And we'll set the wood stove on top of it. And uh, yeah, it's going to make a nice little uh, large pedestal actually. And a great place to store wood underneath the fire, uh, the burning wood burning stove. Which will raise that window up and we'll be able to see the flame better from around the little building. Now here's the uh, here's the door. This thing weighs a ton. Look how th that's I'd say that's a half inch. Yep, that's a half inch steel right there. This is a solid door, heavy as lead. Really nice quality. It's a shame I'm not using it as a safe because it works. Well, we got a lot to do and uh, it's gonna be fun doing it. But we strapped this thing down, we're gonna take it to the lovely place and unload it. So obviously we're going to sand it down real good, we're going to spray paint it uh, a black high heat, what 1200 degree paint, I think 1200 minimum, and uh, a, a matte black and then we're going to be putting one of our wood burning stoves on top of it, one of the Ashley 
Hearth, uh, U.S. Stove Company stoves that's in a previous video that I was trying to pick between. You'll see before too long which one we're going to be picking. And uh, under here, we're going to be storing wood. It'll be nice and pretty, and then that uh, stove being on top of this, this will serve as a hearth. And uh, we've already got a concrete floor, so we're really not worried about any combustible underneath it. But we really like the idea of having a place to store wood under the stove, and I uh, think this will work out real nice. Of course, we're going to be doing a uh, video very soon. I've already purchased the kit. Should be picking it up any day. Where up here, in fact, I'll just show you. We just bought a DuraVent through the wall kit. And uh, I believe we're gonna be taking it out right up there. This is a huge steel, very heavy duty safe. And I purchased it with the intention not to use it as a safe, but to use it as a box, like a, a storage box for, for firewood and to place our actual wood stove on top of it. And so that's the plan. I'm about to grab my Milwaukee grinder and get to grinding off some of this. I see that some of these edges, I think it might be this one over here. It may need another little bead, a weld bead right here. Uh, if it does, I brought my welder and we may weld that. Uh, but I've got to get it all sanded off and nice and polished. And then I purchased some uh, nice uh, heat, uh, high heat paint. Uh, matte black paint that we're going to spray on this. This little mark right here is where this is the width of the actual uh, wood stove itself. All right, let's get the grinder out and let's get to grinding. See what we get out of this. So this is the titanium MIG 140 welder. This, however, is a max 15 amp generator. So it's not gonna do it. It's not gonna do the trick. But I was able to get a little bit of a weld on here and I polished it down a little bit uh, for some paint. So that's my first time welding out here at the property on the generator. Uh, and it's only my second time ever welding at all, period. I welded a... Uh, a mower deck on my little Husqvarna riding mower with this thing uh, once already and it turned out really great but that was using the right electricity the proper electricity all right let's move forward we're gonna paint it next I wanted to show you some paint that I purchased that's high heat paint it's the rust-oleum high heat pr tough protective enamel it says renews grills wood stoves and more and it's got this color of cap on here that looks nice and flat black, but I'm not sure how well you can tell. I'll put the cap beside the painted surface. That This is the bottom of the steel box. By the way, like I said, this was a safe. I've already removed the door for it uh, and left that at home. But yeah, this color is just kind of like a gunmetal gray instead of what this looks like. So today I went and bought this high price stuff at least it was at tractor supply and at home depot they were out of it at home depot at tractor supply it was quite expensive i found it on amazon but i couldn't wait because i came down today just to paint this and uh, but this is a 2000 degree fahrenheit where this one is only a 1200 degree uh, paint 
This one actually says flat black on it. And the lid, the cap looks very similar. I'm hoping it's actually a black. Uh, I could have used this, but we want it to, as close as possible, match our wood stove. So this is a ceramic coating. Let's see what it does in comparison to this. All right, so I'm gonna put a little bit on here. This is the bottom, like I said. So I'm just gonna look and see if it looks different in color. Very windy out here today. I got a little close to it, so don't wanna get that close when I'm actually painting. But yeah, that's, I think gonna be darker. We'll see how it looks when it dries. But I'm gonna use this less expensive product for the inside of this that heat 1200 degrees should be just fine uh, so i'll use it for the inside and the back since i've got a can and a half of it and this expensive stuff i will use for the top and the sides as this is drying there's a little bit still left that's not fully dry but it's blending in and it's looking just like the the previous color i just don't see a difference so over twice the price for this this paint versus this obviously it's a better heat tolerance but as far as color is concerned i'm afraid there's not much of a difference at all okay so we grabbed the uh the rim the, the cap that goes into the wood stove that the pipe goes over um and set it here so we can compare the colors and when you look at it out here in the daylight when it's not inside with a little shadow this actually is not far off at all from there so we're gonna go with it i have a feeling that if you use too dark of a black and it's just gonna be maybe darker than the stove and of course this does match the stove so uh, i believe we'll be good to go so i'm hoping i bought two cans of this stuff I'm hoping I can get away with just using the one can and the can and a half that I have left of the cheaper stuff and I'll I'll return that one can for for a refund. I paid way too much for it at Tractor Supply compared to Amazon. So yeah, I'll return that. <laughs> get it on the ground and then maybe we can get the uh, actual wood stove sitting on top of it find the exact position so that we know our distance to the wall for the pipe okay. That's close. That's gonna look good. This is gonna be interesting. There she is. It is this high to me. This is pretty cool. Very unique. It's different. What do y'all think? Do you like it? Let me back up and let you see it. Imagine all the wood in the box down here. Yes, it is in the center of the window. It was not planned out very well, was it? I have uh, checked all of my 
distances between the edge and here, which the clearance needs to be at least 14. It's just barely over it. And on this side, it's more like, it's about 20 plus to the glass. And it's about 15 to where the wall will be from the corner here. So we're in good shape. Now I just need to figure out the length of pipe I need from here up to the elbow and from the elbow to the wall where the thimble is going to be.